we're going to be talking about the fact that the chief of the army staff uh, to Pakistan Open Taekwondo Championship 2021 is going to begin. The event kicks off in November. And once again, we're going to be seeing Taekwondo being promoted at a large level in Pakistan. I've been focusing on the fact, like I said in my introduction, as well at the start of the show, that PTV World and Pakistan Taekwondo Federation go ha uh, hand in hand in working together in promoting the sport and also creating avenues for people to understand that this is a sport where Pakistan is already currently at present uh, winning many laurels for the country. And of course, in the near future, with the right amount of support, with the right amount of uh, uh, branding and marketing and everything involved, this sport really has a lot of potential in Pakistan because we're, we're, we're seeing a lot of talent. And like I told you about the dynamics of the event as well, that it kicks off in November and uh, we're going to see a large number of participation at the same time as well. I'm very honored to be joined in studios by my guest who will be talking about this. First of all, she uh, is representing the Pakistan Taekwondo Federation's women uh, wing as, of course, the elected president. She's Saba Shamim Jadoon. Assalamu alaikum, ma'am. How are you? Thank you. Great to have you on the show. Thanks, we also have been joined by a Taekwondo coach, somebody who's going to be analyzing things a bit technically now, of course, because we can talk all about it. But when, when it comes to the technical side, then you need um, the experts to talk on this as well. And obviously, Taekwondo has uh, its roots uh, uh, and a share of history as well. But when it comes to the technicalities, uh, people need to be familiar with them as well. He's going to be talking to us on Sports Extra. He is Choi Osung. Hello, how are you? Assalamualaikum. Wa alaikum as yes. Good to have you on the show. Thank you so much for taking our time. Uh, first of all, Ma'am Sabah, I want to uh, know about the championship and the women participation we're having this time in this event. Yeah, thank you very much and uh, giving us the, this opportunity to come here. And it is a great honor and pleasure that uh, in Taekwondo history, first time G1 event is coming to Pakistan. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is a great honor. We invited almost 50 countries, 30 almost confirmed. This is a major mega event. Mm -hmm. And we are very excited to welcome all the athlete around the world. Definitely. Uh, Joy, what, what, what would you like to say about this event in general and analyzing it from a technical point of view? Mm. I think it's an opportunity is for the pa Pakistan player mm -hmm. because I we have to develop little, little, it's technical, basic, but it's Pakistan Open, it's overseas participate is Taekwondo. Mm -hmm. It's very important, it's mm -hmm. championship. Mm -hmm. Yes. So as, as a technical expert, you must have seen Taekwondo all around the world from different countries and obviously with different structures. Uh, how would you compare Taekwondo in Pakistan as compared to other countries as far as the level is concerned? With Pakistan level, I think is is maybe it's middle, mm -hmm. but we have to up, 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 up. Improve, yes. improve this yes. further as well. Yeah. So, so ma'am, uh, like you mentioned that uh, 30 countries are already confirmed. And we always talk about the fact of improving the sport in Pakistan. Obviously, when we play against or compete against international players, the level goes up. So how well prepared is the Pakistani team as far as Taekwondo is concerned? Uh, Mashallah, Pakistani team is very well prepared. We already established training camp and mm -hmm. our team are taking participate in all ma 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 major events around the world. Mm -hmm. And they are qualified. They are getting opportunities. You see now technical, uh, technical expert is around and mm -hmm. we are just giving them all the opportunities. And this is a great opportunity. When uh, international athletes come around, then our, our player played with them, they will learn and like it's a ex good exchange of knowledge and uh, I'm pretty sure that they will do best. In so talk, tell us about, because uh, like I was talking to you uh, before the show that uh, I'm very happy to see that young girls uh, in Pakistan are uh, participating in this sport in large numbers. And yes. It, Obviously, there are other sports as well in Pakistan, but when it comes to Taekwondo, we see a very large number of them participating. I remember one of your events last year, I had a chance to travel to Lahore and I saw a huge number of female uh, participants for playing for different departments. So please tell us about Absolutely that. Absolutely well. true. Basically, let me say and proudly tell you that being uh, parents are very confident then they say uh, female president is there mm -hmm. and they would like to send their daughters to us. And really we are giving them full support, not in term of just uh, the playing side, but we also taking care of their daughters and mm -hmm. they have full confidence with us. And you know, Pakistani female athletes, they are very talented. And when they get, get opportunity, then they played very well. Mm -hmm. uh, Choi, would you agree that uh, Taekwondo, although is a very technical and proper sport, but at the same time, not just promote the sport, but what we also need to do is 
uh, create avenues for both girls and boys, not yeah. just for one segment. Yeah, yes. It's Taekwondo, very important technical, but mm. more important is basic. Mm. Basic is technical, but Pakistan player is yes, very good basic technic, basic, mm. but we more go is technical. So what about your, your home country? What the level over there must be? Uh, it's top Korea, <laughs> yeah, Korean, I think it's a central, central Asia mm. is more, is better than pr many player, mm -hmm. but we we can we can we can achieve yes, that probably. Mashallah, yeah. well, so uh, you see Choi is much more confident about Pakistan yeah. than probably <laughs> some of us are <laughs> but at the same time it's good to see that uh, you know there are international uh, uh, certified people coming and talking about Pakistan's taekwondo which has a room for improvement and should improve as well uh, Ms. Sabah uh, very pertinent to mention here that it's uh, an honor for all of us that you're not just part of taekwondo and only but you're an elected president of many other sports so does that give you a better insight and a better confidence yeah, from that's the uh, you see like a sports industry unfortunately uh, we are not working that level mm -hmm. but now slowly gradually we are re reaching that uh, pedestal and soon inshallah you will see more athletes in the field mm -hmm. and now this is a great opportunity when this almost like you can say 500 athletes come to pakistan and people will say the other athletes they will become more confident that mm -hmm. if they played well then they come on this mm -hmm. uh, forum and this it is a great opportunity for us and you will see many many girls are in the field definitely so joy finally what, what, what would your message be to uh, people who are watching you here in Pakistan you're in Pakistan obviously and especially for Koreans who are watching you in Pakistan right now do you have a message you would like to give them oh English or you can say in Korean I don't know <laughs> yeah. can be Korean as well but yes maybe it's more than English I hope Pakistan Taekwondo uh, develop Pakistan Taekwondo and for uh, so because I will come in here, mm -hmm. but we go to is more higher, more higher as yes. well. Well, uh, uh, Miss Sabah, thank you so much for joining us, Choi. Thank you. Thank you thank so you. much for joining us. We hope that you have a great time in Pakistan, and not just the Taekwondo, but uh, many other things that Pakistan has to offer as well. It's good to see you thank here you. in this thank country you. as well. Thank On that note, we'll go towards a short break, but stay tuned because when I come back, I have some more officials from the Pakistan Taekwondo Federation, and we'll be discussing this further. Welcome back to Sports Extra, talking about the Chief of the Army Staff Pakistan Open Taekwondo Championship 2021 that begins in November. Uh, before the break, we just heard that about 30 international uh, countries are confirmed to participate in this event, which I think is a phenomenal number. And we'll be talking more on this, but obviously congratulations to Pakistan and Taekwondo Federation because I think this is something which deserves a lot more appreciation and a lot more mileage when it comes to television as well. To discuss this further, we've been joined by some more representatives of the Pakistan Taekwondo Federation. First of all, the Secretary of Finance of the Pakistan Taekwondo Federation, Islamabad Olympic Association and Asia. Uh, somebody who's a very familiar television personality. He's given so much to this industry, but I think it's uh, an honor to see him now uh, giving his expert um, services for Pakistan Taekwondo as well. Uh, Mr. Jalal Haider. Assalamu alaikum, sir. How are you? Thank you very much. I'm honored, ji. Sir, good to have you on yes. the show. We've also been joined by the Director of International Coordination of the Pakistan Taekwondo Federation. Now, this gentleman, I know him very personally. He's a very dear elder brother. But trust me, whenever you see sports in Pakistan, you cannot have it without this person. Because no matter which part of the country you go, he will always be there to support this, uh, the, not just the sport, but also young talent and also the coordination over there as well. And now responsible for bringing all the international countries in this event, Mr. Sayyid Onabas Hashmi. Assalamu alaikum, sir. How are you? Assalam. Thank you so much. It's my pleasure. Sir, good to have you on the show. Uh, it's, it's Like I said, you know, the introductions... Uh, are never enough to say thank you thank for, for you. both thank of you. you. So much. Uh, thank you so much. Sir, sir Jalal, first of all, <coughs> discussing this <coughs> event in particular <coughs> and Taekwondo in general, being the Secretary of Finance, we do understand that it's very unfortunate in Pakistan we see one particular sport enjoying most of the revenue. Right. But what people need to understand over here, and I'd like your comments on this, that if we invest in sports like these, mm -hmm. we can go probably compete with any other major country in the world. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, first of all, I'll uh, like to uh, thank uh, for me, uh, to represent uh, my Chief of Army Staff, yes, Open, sir. then my President, uh, Colonel Vaseem, then Omar Saeed, who are the pillars of this. And you are, I 100% agree with you. It's high time uh, we have very worked really hard. It took us 15 years to reach this spot. Mm -hmm. And I think this can be an example to other federation and sports that uh, when we were in Asian Games, with the support of my president, Colonel Vaseem, mm -hmm. we tried our level best uh, to bring this international event called G1. It's a huge uh, platform, uh, like we are expecting uh, 15 to 20 countries, and actually the exact figures will be locked on 25th of October. The closing of Yes, the, it's right. registered abroad. Mm -hmm. It may be the host country <coughs> is Pakistan. An event is being conducted here, and uh, you only to get this event going in Pakistan is a game changer. And other than uh, the sports which you mentioned, mm. uh, I think it's a high time uh, taekwondo and multiple sh sports will be coming up uh, because today uh, the image building of any country, the tourism of any country, uh, basically it's through sports mm, definitely that that's very well said uh, by sir jalal as well uh, sir on talking about uh, your role in this we understand that uh, uh, getting so many countries is is although a big achievement but getting them for taekwondo yeah. is a whole another ball game so what would you like to tell us about this tournament and your uh, job when it comes to international coordination as well thank you uh, ahmed actually uh, First time in the history of Pakistan, we bring this event, mm -hmm. G1 event. G1 event is the level uh, like a world championship mm -hmm. level. And uh, it's a, a WTF portal. Uh, all the players uh, will register on the WTF portal. Mm -hmm. And then they can uh, uh, come their country, the, who is the organizing uh, the G1 event. Right, so Pakistan, uh, Alhamdulillah, we coordinate with the different ambassadors, different uh, uh, peoples uh, uh, of the diplomats. And we bring, Alhamdulillah, 18 countries mm -hmm. confirmed, and uh, uh, the rest of uh, four or three or four countries, Inshallah, will be also coming. Mm -hmm. And uh, thanks for uh, same like uh, uh, Jalal Bhai said, Mr. Omar, Colonel Vaseem, Pakistan Army. Mm -hmm. <coughs> the major contributor of uh, this event is Pakistan Army, mm -hmm. and they highlighted uh, uh, this uh, uh, slogan. Mm -hmm. Sports promote through, uh, mm -hmm. sorry, uh, tourism promote through sports. Mm -hmm. And we bring international uh, players to Pakistan mm -hmm. for this main. Oh, well, th that's a brilliant point uh, that uh, Sir Owen has mentioned. Uh, Sir Jalal, would you agree that mm -hmm. uh, just the slogan itself, mm -hmm. promoting tourism through sports, says a lot. This has mm -hmm. been the vision of the Prime Minister. Absolutely. And sir. at the end of the day, we have to understand that if it is an international tournament, our local industry is going to get promoted. Uh, I'd like to add over here, uh, which I did not mention, yes, mention was there were around about 44 to 47 international referees flying into Pakistan, mm -hmm. which uh, I forgot to mention. For this event, yes. This event. So that means ke how much media will be focused in mm -hmm. Pakistan, especially in a uh, current situation where we need a very positive image and specifically through sports. Mm -hmm. And I will not be wrong by the end of 21 mm -hmm. that my pr Prime Minister may declare 2022 as the sports heir of the Pakistan so that other sports can follow. Mm -hmm. the, our only uh, wish is this event should be successful and a trendsetter in the history of sports of Pakistan. Inshallah, sir, that Inshallah. is the hope. Uh, sir, one finally, I, I, I would like to ask you on this note, uh, You've been involved in the grassroots levels as well because I've personally seen you going through places and I've met you in yeah. various events. Let's be very fair about the level of Taekwondo we have right now in Pakistan. We've seen these young kids competing on international level in all sorts of competition. Currently, what is the place that Taekwondo has in Pakistan? Alhamdulillah, we are uh, competing 300 plus people, mm -hmm. our uh, players mm -hmm. for these international events. Mm -hmm. So, uh, all provinces are participating, departments are participating. So, uh, Army, Air Force, Navy, Higher Education Commission is my own organization. Mm -hmm. And also, all provinces are participating in this event. Mm -hmm. And Alhamdulillah, we, uh, basically, this G1 event, we show our strength, mm -hmm. how much players we have. Mm -hmm. So, inshallah, uh, 300 plus players will be 
competing this international game. Sir Jalal, final thoughts? Yes, yes sir. I would like to add uh, with your yeah, permission, please, sir. Please, please, please. Uh, currently, uh, when, we, uh, when we represent Pakistan, mm -hmm. one of the most meaningful uh, thing in a player's life is the color of Pakistan. Absolutely. The flag of Pakistan flag when of you Pakistan. represent. Mm. Your heart beats, right? So here, it's very expensive because most of the sportsmen who come up, they're not from the very rich families. Yes, sir. So what happens is that sending two players, three players, five players, it's very, very difficult. People mm. sell multiple things to go for that. Absolutely. So here in Pakistan, this will be a game changer because we are expecting 420 to 500 players playing and wearing the color of Pakistan instead of going to an international event, uh, event abroad. Mm -hmm. It's in Pakistan and you'll be more than 500 uh, players will be wearing the color of Pakistan, only the venue is Pakistan. That yes, will be sir. the honor for us. That is, that is truly an honor. Playing in your home soil is always, I think, a big achievement. Sir Jalal, Sir Own, thank you so yes, much sir. for being on the thank show. You. But obviously, I know we're short on time, but uh, in the coming weeks and until the tournament, I can uh, show you one thing that mm -hmm. uh, we'll be having some more programs on this as well in detail, trying to highlight every point of view and also hearing from all the international competitors because I think the goal is not just to promote uh, Taekwondo, promote tourism, also create an environment for our young boys and girls to take up Taekwondo and I think also at the same time uh, we would like to have a show on realizing the potential and the career opportunities for making Taekwondo officials as well. We are having international officials coming to Pakistan but obviously Pakistani officials can also reach that level and that is also a proper career but November is the place to be the chief of the army staff Pakistan Open Taekwondo Championship championship 2021 you'll be seeing all of this exclusively on ptv world and all like i said content related to that would get promotion over here as always has been the case with pakistan taekwondo federation and ptv world on that note from me and the entire team until our next show it's goodbye for now